Mike, it's deadline day. How late are we all going to be staying up tonight? Um, well, I hope not too late, <laughs> <laughs> but probably, yeah, to, to 11 o'clock, I, yeah. I guess. But no, um, it's exciting times. We feel as if we're in a good position. We've got a lot of our business done early. But yeah, in the current situation, we're still we're still in uh, in the mix with a few things happening. So yeah, at the minute, there's lots lots of moving parts. But yeah, excited and uh, just all our attention on Monday really, which is a huge game for us. Um, ins and outs, do you think? Don't know. That's the honest <laughs> truth. Um, the possibly could be, but mm. at the minute, I, I couldn't shed any light of anything being close. Um, at the minute, it's not so. Um, I wouldn't put it past any last minute transactions. Um, all players want to play and if they feel as though they're not going to get the game time then it's going to make them uh, want to, to explore other avenues but at the minute it doesn't seem everyone's quite on that front. Um, as a head coach is it a case that, I mean you'll obviously have your list of players that, that you're actively chasing but you know once one deal goes you, you move on to the next one but is, is there a, a time at which you just sit back and you go okay we're done? Or is there always going to be something that you could potentially, you know, uh, look to work towards? Yeah, no, we've got we've got um, our our realistic targets now. I think we've worked through certain things, and um, now yeah, we're just we've got some solid um, targets that are, are realistic. But there's many things to be ironed out in it. So yeah, I don't think there's any new things that are going to come up. Um, never rule it out. But at the minute, no, we've we we know the type and uh, the the character, the profile. Um, and somebody that really needs to come in and add to the starting eleven. So um, yeah, we were firmly fixed on on certain targets. Um, we heard Maya speaking to the supporters the other night, saying that this isn't going to be a billionaire's playground. That this is, you know, they're going to try and uh, improve the club and 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 you know make those developments infrastructure-wise as well as, as as on the pitch. That's the right message, I think, isn't it? To to, to send out that it's you're not just going to launch money at the transfer window and, and, and hope things stick and, and try and improve the club that way. Yeah, it certainly was. No, every, everything, every conversation we've had so far with the new ownership has, has been yeah different class. They, they've got ambition, of course they have, but they've also got an understanding and this is not their first venture in football, so they, they've got a, a lot of understanding and um, they want to do it the right way. And like you say there, they've touched on the infrastructure, the, the training ground and the academy, and that's the, that's the heartbeat of the developing the club so um, spoken on the, the women's team as well which is really encouraging and positive which is a massive part of the community but a lot of their language is about increasing fan interaction and engagement with the community which yeah that's uh, what we will do it for. Um, the training ground is something I've been talking to various people involved in the club for about 15 years now but hopefully hopefully that that's a, that's a really important sign that, that something's on the horizon for you. Yeah, um, it was similar at Newcastle when I was there. There was a training ground myth, or you know, every every preseason. But now it feels tangible, and um, the plans. Uh, I think that they're the, the plans have been in place, but now there's there's amendments to it, and there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes. But yeah, it feels tangible now. So every, everything's really um, work. Everyone's working hard, and the excitement is there. Um, a game on Monday night, so you've got to watch in brief tomorrow. Are you going to be paying attention to the rest of the league too? Um, I think I'll have an hour to relax after the window. <laughs> and then, um, no, of course, yeah, I'll be, we'll be watching games. Um, I'll probably try and get to get to one or two myself and enjoy that, that, that opportunity because uh, we don't get that very often. But no, I've um, got to make sure that our prep now is all focused on, on making sure that we're prepared because we know how difficult it's going to be. Um, getting points on the board uh, on Saturday, a huge relief for everybody. You said it in in your, your post match afterwards. Um, it's now going to be about building on that and, and, and building up ahead of steam, I guess. Yeah, I think, of course, points are points. But you know, in terms of the way way we want to conduct ourselves and, and where we're we're looking, it means nothing if we don't back it up. So, um, I I never really want to touch on momentum, and you know, I'll use the words, but for us, it's just every single game win, lose or draw. Our last game where everyone's got that full belief of we focus on ourselves, we go there, we control the controllables, we get the result and it's just another building block but um, it's our mentality that we know is uh, is in our control so we know that they're going to want to rough us up, they're going to want to, when they came here they wanted to go man for man. You know, we know Carl knows uh, you know, the club and he's going to have his game plan so we've got to make sure that ours is watertight. 
um, as you mentioned, that, that, that game last season, it was probably not the start you wanted, but certainly the response that you wanted from your side. Yeah, and I think it was it was a real physical game. It was it was open, and I think it just took a couple of moments of quality from uh, certainly one from Gilbs, and um, yeah, to settle things down, and then towards the end make it feel a little bit more comfortable than we felt it was during the during the actual game. So we know we're going to have to win the battle, and that might take 60, 70 minutes like it did last time, um, and we're prepared for that. But we've got to make sure that we we're focused on. And how, uh, how we can hurt them in and out of possession. And it was a dogged performance up at their place as well, wasn't it, in the 4-2 in the win? It was, yeah. It was um, early on when we came in. Um, and, yeah, again, it was open and people say you know, moments and uh, uh, goals change games and, you know, there's luck here and there, but we always talk about trying to stack the odds so much in your favour, picking more second balls up outworking the opposition, having more explosive sprints, entering the box more times, and then you like to think that that will um, carry over to, to the um, final result. So that's what we'll be looking at, and we've got to be dogs. We've got to be dogs of war. We know we're going to have to battle, because if we don't, then um, we'll be found wanted. So that's the focus you know, with us is tactically, technically, the boys will turn up with that fire. Um, and I suppose after the performance on, on Saturday, the morale would have been really high and, and the players themselves will be thinking, OK, we repeat the performance like we did on Saturday, we're in with a great shout of the points. Yeah, I think that, say, the relief of the points and getting over the line with that win, but I think the actual performance is as disappointing as the results have been. Like, they're not too far away in terms of um, the possession and entering the final third. Obviously, uh, it was nice to get that clean sheet and it does, it creates that belief in us but um, for us we've just got to keep building on the actual performances and we know that goals will come, um, clean sheets will come and wins will come. And finally injury news, how's, how's everybody doing? Yeah, improving, doing really well. Uh, we've integrated uh, cows back in so it's still we've just got to make sure that he uh, has no reactions. Um, off he picked up a little niggle so we're just monitoring that um, but everyone else is working hard behind the scenes and um, making good progress.